Today I'll be going over the possibility of virtual reality finally coming to the Xbox in the form of the Oculus Rift S support for Project Scarlet, as well as a little bit more research and development that Samsung seems to be doing in the virtual reality sector. First off, it appears there's a rumor circulating around the internet for virtual reality support finally coming to the Xbox in the form of Oculus Rift S to the upcoming console. However, while this is just a rumor and needs to be taken as such with a grain of salt, there are a few things that do seem to back up this claim. For starters, one of the key things that we've seen out of Phil Spencer since he started as the Xbox head a few years back in 2017 is that he has pushed for a better gaming experience for all users, whether it be for PlayStation or Xbox or Nintendo Switch. And we can see that better gaming experience for all users through the push for cross-platform play or the push for Xbox Live support on over on the Nintendo Switch a few months back. And secondly, one of the other things that this ends up leading to is the fact that as far as headsets are concerned, the Oculus Rift S is going to give you a better experience than does the PlayStation VR primarily because it uses inside-out tracking rather than outside-in. Third, one of the big questions you have to ask about that is whether or not the upcoming Xbox is going to be capable of supporting the headset technologically. And the short answer to that is yes. One of the things that we noticed out of the upcoming console's reveal was the processor's architecture. And even going through the low end of that architecture, it is going to have the processing speeds capable of supporting the headset itself. Not only does it have the processing speed, but it's going to have the GPU capable of supporting a virtual reality headset. That being said, you're likely to be able to get a better experience out of Xbox VR than you would the PlayStation VR, if that makes sense. I guess this is four? No, maybe three? I, I can't remember. Anyway, one of the big things that we have seen out of Xbox itself is that this would not be the first time that Microsoft and Facebook had worked together or in some way. For example, when the Rift started hitting the shelves, it came with the Xbox One controller included. So this wouldn't necessarily be much of a stretch when you really think about it. And finally, one of the things that does seem to make sense and try to support this claim is that Microsoft still has a stake in, my, in Facebook, which of course owns Oculus. So the idea that you would be able to get a better virtual reality experience on Microsoft or the on the Xbox rather than the PlayStation does seem to make sense in this direction. So I guess let's keep an eye out for it. However, like I said, this is just a rumor. So there's nothing confirmed at this point. So do, do cut, I'll try to keep my ear to the ground and hopefully you do the same. It seems as though Samsung is planning on releasing a few more AR and VR headsets over the next few months. While very little is known at this time about what those things could be described as, there's rumor that it may involve, simply because there's more than one, a new product in the Gear VR line of headsets. For example, Farshid Fala, Samsung's Director of Development Relations for XR and Gaming, suggested that they would be making broader efforts with VR, the gear headset, and the AR capabilities of the Galaxy S10 phone. If you guys are still here, don't forget to check out my next video when I'll be going over a little bit more news that we have about the Trump tariffs and, its, and their effects on gaming. If you liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm such a horrible human being for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.